What's up, Columbus? I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden here with 614 TV, exploring the best food and drinks our city has to offer. Coming up on Tasting Columbus, we're diving into delicious seafood at Kai's Crab Boil, plowing our way through Bud Dairy Food Hall, and dropping in on Ivan Kane's 40 Deuce to experience New York right here in Columbus. So bring your appetite and your adventurous spirit and join me for 614 TV's Tasting Columbus. Land ho, Columbus! Kai's Crab Boil is bringing all the flavors of the sea right here to Central Ohio. From crawfish to lobsters to cocktails you will not be crabby about, this place is something to shell celebrate. I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden, and this is Tasting Columbus. I'm here with the crustacean king, Kai Shung. Thank you for having us out to your crab boil. You're welcome, Mike. A lot of people might not know what a crab boil is being in Central Ohio. Tell me a little bit about the concept. Crab boil originally, uh came from down south. It's the main for friends and family to get together. On the weekend, they all have a big boiling pot with all kind of seafood goodies in there. And uh, once they boil, they dump everything on the table and everybody gets to enjoy it. Sounds like a party I want to go to. When I come to Kai's, I usually get the head-on shrimp, some mussels. They offer the side, so I get the potatoes, corn, sausage, whatever you want. They just have it for you. My favorite sauce I usually get is the OMG. You gotta get the Kai sauce because it has all of the spices. It's so garlicky. It's just delicious. Why bring it to Columbus? Originally, we weren't thinking about opening a restaurant. It was just literally mean for our friends and family to enjoy this type of food, and then it grew from there. Well, I'm ready to get boiling and get cracking. Back in the kitchen with Chef Mike. You bet, come back. I'm here with kitchen manager Mike Garcia and we are in for a treat because we are making the lobster and crawfish with Kai's Cajun sauce. Walk me through how you make that. So we get the seafood in twice a week to try to keep everything really fresh. We get a large batch of crawfish, we wash them all first, and then we cook them all in one large batch. So this is fresh. Fresh as possible. And then with the lobster, it takes anywhere from like seven to 13 minutes to cook, depending how big the lobster is and how the bigger it is, the longer it's gonna take to cook. Put that in the boil pot and uh, let that cook. And then when it's almost done, we drop everything else with the lobster so it all comes out at the same time. We take the lobster out and we crack the claws for the customer and then we put it in the bag, put the seasonings, garlic butter, and we send it out. My mouth is watering. Kai, it smells intoxicating. <laughs> So we have the crawfish and the lobster here. You know, I've never cracked a lobster myself, but I'm gonna give it a try. You've given me some instruction with these special scissors, and I know I need to start here with the lobster, this guy. Take the tail off. Yep. Easy. And then we take these and go backwards, right? That's it. Ah! Performing surgery, and I go all the way to the end. <laughs> right. Ooh, look at that meat. That's it, man. Duck it in here in the Cajun sauce. Going in. That is fresh. That sauce adds that perfect Cajun punch to it. The lobster has all these perfect ingredients already in the animal to develop these nice flavor molecules like 2,3-butanedione when it cooks. And those come off as buttery and savory and really impart that delicious lobster flavor. Just to throw a little food science fact out there, the meat is so tender that it's just a real enjoyable thing to eat. And plus it's fun, you get to play with your food a little bit. <laughs> the tail, delicious, but there's so much more to experience, right? We have the claws next, right? Yep. Crack that off. Is there any meat in there? Uh, there is, but that's a lot of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it though, I'm sure. Break it off from the second knuckle there. Oh. You got, already got some meat on. It's like a treasure hunt. And I'm going gloveless, but of course you can wear gloves, but I want the experience. For this, you can give a little crack. Oh. And then you can bend it, break it. Look at that. And this is like a different type of muscle in the lobster. So the meat has a little bit of a different flavor quality. 
but it's still delicious. <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. Let's do the crawfish. Now, I know I've done this before. These mini lobsters, right? Yep. And the main prize is in the tail. Yes, they are. Let's take that off, but I know some people do like to. The way that you season the water really permeates all the shellfish, and it just imparts that wonderful Cajun flavor all throughout everything. Well, Kai, this was a little great appetizer. What's next? The next, we'll have the Pacific Combo. Let's eat. All right, Mike, I am feeling a little bit West Coast today, so we're gonna have the Pacific Combo with snow crab legs and shrimp. Walk me through this one. So you'll be getting your snow crab legs and then head on shrimp. You have a choice of a corn, potato, sausage, or egg. I'll be throwing one of each in your bag for you. Perfect, I was gonna ask for one of each. <laughs> <laughs> we put seasoning in our boil pots to season the water for the seafood, and then when we, after we cook it, we take it out, put it in the bowl, put butter all over it, put all the seasonings, and then you mix it around in the bag. It is a really simple process, but they say simplicity is best. That's right, and you layer on those flavors, yeah. I love that. And then you'll twist the bag up, put it in a bucket, and they bring the bag to your table, and they put it right on the table, and you just get cracking and eating. Oof, rustic, I love it. And with the shrimp head on, is it more flavorful that way? I believe it is more flavorful that way. People like the juices from the head, and they, they do taste really good. That's the way to do it. Kai, there is nothing shrimpy about that shrimp. They're huge. But the real prize I'm after, these snow crab legs. Look at those beauties. Let's crack it. Sorry, I took the claw. <laughs> now, what is this sauce? Now, that's our house-made OMG sauce so with a roast and habanero. So, for, OMG, this is gonna be hot. For people like to be spicy. I'll be the judge of that. It is spicy. <laughs> Woo! But it's so bright. I mean, like you can taste the peppers, you can taste all the other spices you put in there. It's making my mouth water, my eyes are watering a little bit too. <laughs> but it's great, what a great sauce for this. So you have andouille sausage, you got eggs, you got potatoes, you got corn in here. So it's not just seafood, it's a whole meal. Yes it is. That sausage is killer. I love andouille sausage, nice and smoky. Now I'm gonna go in on one of these giant shrimp. Take that head off, you know what we like to do with that. Mm. 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 Just like Chef Mike said, when you cook them with the heads on, so much flavor. And look at this giant tail meat. This thing is huge. This sauce is so good. One of my favorite things about Kai's is the freshness of the seafood. You can really tell when you order the head on shrimp, especially with the mussels. One of my favorite things to get is the crawfish when it's in season. I prefer it with the Kai's Cajun seasoning. Beautifully garlicky, extremely seasoned. And I usually like to get the corn and potatoes with it because I love dipping it in the little butter sauce in the same batch. So that's one of my favorite things. Well, Kai, I feel like people have been curious about this place. If you haven't been here but have been thinking about it, take the dive, it is worth it. It is so delicious, lots of great seafood, and the sauce and the spices just really round it out. So take the dive, come on out to Kai's. Thank you so much, man. Don't worry, we'll be back with more to explore. Join us next month on Tasting Columbus.